Hey guys, this is Nick from Income Digs with a video tutorial. Today's video is going to use a few different tools. We're going to show you how we can use Podio to track our scope of work for projects. And we can use QuickBooks to do all the awesome things that it does for accounting. And we can get the two to uh, kind of talk to each other. It's a manual integration in that we are importing QuickBooks data to Podio on a scheduled basis. And what this allows us to do is allow the two pieces of software to do exactly what they do best. That being Podio is a great database. It's a great place to keep scopes of work, to keep schedules, to track tasks, and to do all that stuff. It's not that great for accounting. QuickBooks is really great for accounting. Okay, so we're gonna use each of those tools for what they do best. We're gonna get them to talk to each other with a scheduled integration, a scheduled import. So the way that we have things set up here is I have a scope app in Podio. And basically all my scope app is, is line by line, it's all of the things I'm going to do throughout the rehab, okay? So um, many of you may have seen this app before. It's taken uh, several turns, twists and turns, and evolved over the years. but. Um, Let's just pop into one of these scope items, and it's a pretty simple app at its core in that we have a deliverable kind of description, and we use a unique ID to give us an ID for the whole deliverable. We relate it to a project. Uh, we're going to skip over work blocks. We have a scope category, which is another app. This helps me to understand by category, by stage, by phase, how much things are going to cost. Um, and what else do we have? Uh, status incomplete, complete. We have different inputs that help us get to cost, material cost versus labor cost. So right here, this is just a labor item. This is kind of a big bulky, what is this, rough electric? So I'm doing one times 4,000 is the cost of this thing. Okay, um, so it's pretty simple. Now a more, let's see, um, a better example potentially is maybe our laminate. So if I were to pull this up, yeah, here's a, here's a good one. So we have our laminate floor, our inputs. We're able to, to pull in our materials app. So this is where I can store the different materials that I'm going to purchase. Whether this is I'm going to purchase it or I find it really useful after the fact. If I'm looking at a past project and I wanna know what kind of work I did, I have the materials right here. I have the color, I have the price, all that stuff, all right? So my material quantity, um, this is a price per square foot. Um, my price per square foot is 1.75. And that's going to give me my total material cost plus other cost is 520. All right. So all of these app items make up my scope of work for a project. And then I'm able to total the total budget and all of that. Where I had run into trouble previously was, all right, I'm able to get the budget down, but how do I track the actuals? We use QuickBooks for everything uh, when it comes to accounting, but it's tough to get uh, my actuals into Podio. So we solved that with a, a very, it's pretty simple once it's set up, but um, basically using this, what we call PNL code. And all that is, is the unique ID of the deliverable. It's a five digit unique ID that I had set up um, through the app um, settings. And we just built in the routine of tagging every single expense in QuickBooks with that five digit PNL code. And that way they can talk to each other. All right, so I'm gonna switch over to QuickBooks. And what I've done is I've created a report um, that lists all of the expenses for CapEx for the past week. And basically I've built this process wherein every Sunday or Monday, whatever it is, I'll go and actually my VA will go and run this report, which grabs all of the expenses for the past week that relate to a project. Okay. And, and that's done through some simple filtering. So, um, Right now I have it filtered just on this project, this 264 union, that's the only project we're doing right now. But um, you could easily set up your filters so that it, it makes sense. So basically, and then I'm using the last week filter and I save the report and um, actually if I just show you what it looks like outside in the reports list, I have a um, VA reference and here's the report. So every Sunday or Monday whenever he goes into it. Every time I go in here and run the report, uh, it's got all of the expenses from the past week. And we're able to customize how the columns are set up too. So I have the date, the amount, the class. Now this is going to relate in Podio to my project. The vendor relates to my vendors in Podio. Now the memo and description, you see that each of these has that five digit code on, on it. I have the business as well. 
All right, so now what I'm able to do is do a quick export. Export to Excel. Go ahead and pop this open real quick. Now you could just leave it in Excel, but I, I like to use Google Sheets. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this, copy it. It's really simple, you can see. Now I have a template set up for my import. And I have a QB, QuickBooks, paste tab, where I go into the uppermost left cell and paste values. And this goes and grabs it. Now all the QuickBooks stuff is in here. I do a really easy calculation on another tab, which goes and grabs that five digit code. So if I bring it over to QB read, here's all my dates. You can see there's a pretty simple formula. It just goes to look at that other sheet and pulls in the date, the amount, the project, the vendor, the description, all of this is word for word. And then this PNL code is simply go grab the left five letters from uh, E. All right, it's really simple. Now one last step before import, I gotta go grab this and copy and paste the values. The reason for that is Podio does not like uh, when you try to import Excel stuff that um, has formulas, it won't read it. So I, I don't know if you saw that, I paste special values only. All right, now this is ready to import, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my um, Podio. Now I have an expenses app where all, I'm never gonna add an expense manually. QuickBooks is the source of truth for all my expenses. However, on a weekly basis, it makes sense for me to, um, to update this, all right? So instead of adding an expense, I'm just gonna do a, a um, Excel import. Choose your Excel file. Now this is gonna come from Google Drive. I have a few accounts set up, so let's make sure this one here we go. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna go into where I have it. Here's my expense import. Now it's going to allow you to map the fields. I don't have that many, so it should be pretty quick and easy. All right, so date goes to date. Don't worry about the end date. Project goes to project and close this up. Remember, this is a relationship field. Entity goes to entity. Vendor goes to vendor. These are all relationship fields. That's why you got to close them up. Description goes to description. Scope. This is where we're going to match the PL code. So PL code goes to PL code. And then lastly, I skipped it for an uh, unknown reason. Amount goes to amount. That's the most important one, right? So we click next. Now the next part is very, very important. What we have to do is we have to set primary keys for all of those relationship fields, okay? So um, when the key is darkened, it means that if it recognizes an identical item that already exists in Podio, it won't create a new one, it will just uh, reference the existing one. So for example, 264 Union, we saw that that is a project that already exists. I don't want it, I'm importing, I don't know how many items here, eight rows. I don't want it to create eight different new 264 Union projects, that wouldn't make any sense. So I need this primary key to be set. Same thing with my entities, and same thing with my vendors. Now vendors is, is I have most of my vendors synced up between QuickBooks and Podio. However, if there's a new one that hits QuickBooks that is not yet in Podio, that's fine. What it'll do is it won't find it, it'll create a new one in Podio too, and that, that helps keep my vendors in sync. All right, so um, my description flows in. The PL code also needs to be um, locked. Basically, I don't wanna create a new scope item for these items that I'm adding. So I'm gonna go ahead and import the eight rows. And what will happen rather quickly is that everything will hit uh, my Podio. And now I have all the expenses from QuickBooks are in here. So this took me, you know, while explaining, it probably took me five minutes. And we just do this every week, and that way we have an updated view of how much we're spending on a project. So let's just take a look at, um, I don't know, um, the sh this one here, the shower head. So here's an expense from QuickBooks, 149.81, the project, the entity, the vendor, and the description, everything flows in the related scope item. Now when I go to the related scope item, because I have the expenses in here, I'll be able to calculate the actual spend field. So if I go to my scope item and scroll down to my financials, so you see that I had a, um, a budget of 240, but my actual spend is 299.61, so I spent a little bit too much. Uh, but whatever, that's fine. I, I just want to be able to track it, so the actual spend calculates in. All right. So um, 
Now, the setup can take some time. I'm willing to help you guys out if you have any questions on how that works. But once it's set, it's nice because you can, like I said in the beginning, let the programs do what they're good at. Podio is great for managing data and tasks and schedules. QuickBooks is really great for managing expenses and all of that. And we can get the two to keep doing what they're doing well and combine the data to give us the view that we want. All right. So, um, Feel free to let me know if you have any questions or comments or if you have a similar setup and you have questions on how to get things in there. If you have questions about how to import Google Sheets or Dropbox or any of that stuff, I'd be happy to answer them. And uh, look out for more videos uh, either here on YouTube and at uh, IncomeDigs.com. Thanks.